What if I told you, you can install DeepSeek AI on this, a Raspberry Pi? Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as I said in the intro, yes, we can install DeepSeek AI on a Raspberry Pi, and I am going to show you how to do that. However, it's not practical. This is kind of just a goof, fun little project. I just wanted to get that out of the way as part of the intro so you're not duped in this video. So yes, we can install DeepSeek AI on a Raspberry Pi and we're gonna do it. But once again, it's not practical. We're just doing it as a fun project. So the first thing we need to do is you gotta have a Raspberry Pi. And I'll put a link in the description below to the Raspberry Pi I'm using. It is a Pi 5. And you're gonna need to download and install Raspberry Pi OS. And since I've already shown that in a different video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a link to that up here somewhere where you can click on that and go to see how to install Raspberry Pi OS on your Pi. Once you get that done, go ahead and come back to the video and we're gonna install Olama and DeepSeek on to the Pi and see just how goofy this is gonna be. Here we are, we're at the console for my Raspberry Pi that I'm gonna put Olama and the old uh, deep seek on, and you can see I called it Pi Llama. So we're gonna go ahead and log in. So you'll log into your Raspberry Pi. So we'll go ahead and clear that out. And the first thing we need to do is update the server. So we're gonna go sudo apt update. Should be pretty quick. And then sudo apt upgrade dash and y. It's gonna install everything, just make sure the OS is updated all the way. And we're gonna end up doing a curl command here to install Olama. And if you're not familiar with Olama, it is the open source kind of engine that runs some of these LLMs or large language models, basically our AI. It's open source, it's free. We're going through and it's updating everything. And something to think about is we don't have to use DeepSeek as our LLM on this project. We're just gonna do that because it's kind of the, the hot news at this, you know, at the moment, but we can do, um, you know, all sorts of different things. And we'll take a look at the different language models that, or LLMs that are available on Olama's website right now, as of April, 2025, and kind of see what is available. And we have to remember that right now on this device, I only have a 64 gig micro SD card, so we can't put a huge model on it. And why would we anyway? Because it's gonna just nuke this device. So I'm really curious to see once we get everything set up and we ask it a, maybe just a basic question, how, hurting this thing is going to be. Now that the Raspberry Pi is all updated, it's time to get Olama installed. I switched this over to a terminal software. That way I can blow the, you know, the text up a little bigger for you to see, and I can copy and paste stuff. And the first thing we need to do is paste in a curl command. So we're going to go and paste this in curl dash FSSL at the HTTPS olama.com slash install dot SH and then pipe SH and hit enter. And this might take a little while because we are installing it to a Raspberry Pi onto a micro SD card. And as you know, that is a pretty slow process to, you know, install to a SD card. And we're putting a lot of wear and tear on that card. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. And why it's doing its thing, let's take a look at our different models we have available. So apologies for the blinding light here. Olama's website is uh, not dark mode, apparently. So we are on olama.com slash search, and we're gonna look at all the different models we have. So you have Gemma up here, you know, the uh, Google QWQ. What we're gonna do is DeepSeek R1. And this is, you know, all up in the news lately. And since we only have a 64 gig SSD card, and on top of that, we have the OS and, you know, installed and running off of that. I don't think we're going to go with the 8 billion parameters. I think we're just going to go the 1.5 billion, just the, 
you know, the lowest we can do on this thing and see how it runs. But on my own personal um, a llama server, you know, I run llama 3.3. I've got deep seek R1 and I switched between that and Gemma three. So I enjoy those are kind of the three I like to work with. The weird thing about, or I guess not weird, just the different thing about deep seek is it also kind of talks to you in the sense of showing you what it's thinking and what it's trying to do. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at that and, uh, kind of see what is going on there. And like I said earlier, I'm really curious of how slow or slash fast this is going to be. Um, I know it's not going to be fast. I have really low expectations when it comes to, you know, it comes to this, but who knows? It might be, I might be surprised that it's a little quicker than I thought it was going to be. Back over here on our terminal, we can see it is installed. No NVIDIA or um, other GPU is detected and Olama is going to run in a CPU only mode. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install a language model. And like I said, we're going to do the DeepSeek R1, the 1.5 billion um, parameter. First, I want to see what our version of Olama is just to see, make sure we're on the, the latest one. So we'll go Olama and I think it's dash dash version. Uh, so at the time of this video, it's a llama 064. Now that we have the version, we're going to go ahead and install the large language model or the LLM. So for that, we're going to go llama run deep seek dash R one colon 1.5 B. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell it to run the deep seek dash R one model and the 1.5 billion parameter. Enter pulling the manifest. It's a 1.1 gig file. So just being the 1.5 billion parameter one, it's still got a pretty good size to it. And the downloads going pretty quick here, which is really nice success. Now that deep seek is all downloaded and set up. I went ahead and exited out of the prompt and cleared the screen so we can start fresh here. And the way this is going to work is you need to first know what LLMs you have set up on the server before you can run them. So we'll go Olama and then list. And we can see we have DeepSeek R1. So we'll go ahead and again, we'll do Olama run. What can I tab? Nope. DeepSeek R1 colon 1.5B. And since it's already installed, it's not going to download again. So we are ready to send a message. I think I'm going to ask it when the next solar eclipse is. When is the next solar eclipse in the United States? Thinking. Well, that's actually really quick. I, it shouldn't be that fast. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this runs really well on a Raspberry Pi. I had no idea. So as of last update, so this model is old, July, 2024. Not a great one. Um, let's go um, list the top 10 most pop popular Marvel characters. How to list the top 10. And this is running pretty quick, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. We are doing command line and it's the only thing running on this Raspberry Pi. And we're not doing the GUI dashboard to make it easier. Maybe in a future video we can look at, you know, getting that set up. It's kind of going through and listing a ton of different characters here. And when it says like, you know, parenthesis slash think, that's like it telling you it's pausing and it's thinking where most LLMs will just stop. The thing with DeepSeek is it kind of pauses and says think, right? So this is what it says are the top most pop, 10 most popular Marvel characters 
based on their appearances and shows and films. So Captain America, um, Iron Man, Superman. So obviously Superman's not a Marvel character. We have Ant-Man, um, Kang, the original, Spider-Man, Iron Man 2. Okay, so we're, we're talking about movies now. Um, and then Black Panther and Thor. So kind of interesting. Let's try some math. What is one, two, seven, six, four, five times eight, seven, four, four, five, three. Uh oh, did we stump it? It's got to do some calculations. Given the task to multiply two numbers. Breaking them down in smaller parts. So it's telling you how it's going to do it. So it's telling you about the <laughs> standard multiplication algorithm. And this is one thing like with deep seek is it goes into details of how it does stuff. Um, it doesn't just give you the answer. So it can be wordy if you will. Um, <laughs> let's see if it gives us an answer eventually here. Oh, it's going to tell us how to do it. I'm not going to, maybe it won't do it for us. <laughs> it's still going. And of course we could have opened up the calculator by now and done it. Wonder if I can, uh, what is one, three, three, four, five, not six times eight, four, four, five, two, three, just the answer, please. I don't want to figure out. So that's kind of thing with, you know, LLMs as well is you need to know prompts and how to ask it, um, prompts. And so deep seek might not have been a great example for doing math. So let's try a different one. One last thing here. Um, What, here we go. What are the names of the planets? So I need to figure out what the names of planets are. Let's start simple. So you can see it is, Deep Seek likes to chat. It gets chatty. Sky map. Main planets are Mars, Venus, Earth, Mercury, and Jupiter. So yeah, Deep Seek is going all in. So you can press Control C and it'll stop. If you do um, a slash and then a question mark, it'll do the help. And if you are you know, want to kind of clear out the context here, do slash clear, cleared out session context. So um, you're good to go there. You can save your sessions. You can set variables, show the model info. Um, a big one too is just slash by. And that X's out of the prompt and you can get back to using your Raspberry Pi command line. There you are. That's how you set up DeepSeek R1 on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't know about y'all. I was actually really surprised at how well that worked. I thought it was going to be insanely slower. And it could be because I chose that 1.5 billion parameter. If I went up to like the 8 billion, it might have been a little slower, but we would have got more information, right? So really up to you of how you want to configure it and test things out. And you're not just limited to DeepSeek. There's all those other 
you know, models on Olama's site that you can install as well. If you really want to kind of test other models out, DeepSeek, as we saw, is very wordy. So there you have it. I hope you liked that video. Let me know down in the comments below if you did this and what your experience is with running DeepSeek AI on a Raspberry Pi. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.